The animated film The Addams Family pulled in more than $30 million during its opening weekend in October 2019. As fun as the new film may be, we can't help but fall back in love with 1991's live-action Addams Family, especially when the Halloween season rolls around. Here's what the iconic cast looks like today. Although Angelica Houston was not the first or the last actress to play the role of Morticia Adams, you may remember her performance most vividly. She put a special twist on the character after all. In an interview with Vulture in May 2019, Houston revealed that she based her portrayal of the character on her friend Jerry Hall, specifically the actress's quote, sweet indulgence of her children. Houston explained, I just came upon the idea that the worse the children behaved, the more delighted Morticia was. I find Jerry incredibly beatific. She has that great accent, and her children come before anything. I was trying to imagine Jerry bringing up the spawn of the devil and how she'd be indulgent and loving and understanding. What does this story teach us? Since the 1991 film, Houston has gone on to captivate audiences through her characters in other films and television shows, such as her role as Vicky in Transparent and the director in John Wick Chapter 3. Sadly, her Adams Family husband, Raul Julia, passed away just a few years after the film's premiere. When interviewing Christopher Lloyd in 2017, Metro brought up ABC's star-studded Earth Day special that the actor filmed in 1990, but he was unable to recall the project, in which he returned to his role as the iconic Doc Brown. Lloyd admitted to the publication, I've done a lot of films I haven't heard about since rap night, but I don't care, I have to work. Unless it's total garbage, I'll work, whatever comes along. The money might not be fabulous, but I don't mind that. However, The Addams Family is no Earth Day special. In an interview with Pop Goes the Culture, Lloyd revealed that he loved making the film, adding, And it's such a great cast. I mean, we were really like a family after a while. Lloyd also revealed that he was, at first, at a loss as to how to portray Uncle Fester because he's so physically different. But obviously, he worked it out. And the Back to the Future star has worked steadily ever since. Christina Ricci has grown up, but Wednesday Addams will forever be the stoic, sadistic daughter in the Addams family. She'll also, of course, remain the basis for Halloween costumes the world over. Ricci was just 10 years old when she took on the dark role, but the part didn't appear challenging for her. Fame, however, was. The actress told IndieWire, I had a very hard time with fame as a child, being interviewed and being asked about my life. I think that the way that I answered questions and the things I said earlier on were just… it was like somebody twisting in the wind. I was very reactive and aggressive, and I acted out. Despite a tumultuous relationship with fame, Ricci has remained in the entertainment business, starring in a variety of projects, big and small. She even started producing, telling IndieWire, I want to contribute to the world, I don't want to just take from it. I want to do things that I'm proud of instead of being exploited as I feel I was when I was a child." Jimmy Workman, who played Pugsley Adams in The Addams Family and its sequel, Addams Family Values, gave up acting in the early 2000s. Cosmopolitan reported in September 2019 that he lives in California with his family and has worked behind the scenes on various projects. Though he stopped acting, Workman's younger sibling, Ariel Winter, ventured into the biz. Yep, the modern family star is Pugsley's younger sister. Oh, what? You're too old for a little scare? The scariest thing is you could be a cheap pickup line two beers and nine months away from being a grandparent, and you just risk asphyxiation in the fridge. Tully Alford, the Addams Family's secondary antagonist, is played by character actor Dan Hedaya. Since starring in the 90s cult favorite, Hedaya appeared in a number of other projects, including Clueless and Mulholland Drive. In 2015, the actor appeared in a satirical segment about infrastructure on Last Week Tonight with John Oliver to name just one of his many recent credits. His memory must live on forever. During an interview at the 2016 Carney Awards, the actor was asked to divulge the key to being a good character actor. He replied, I think creating a human being that's real, really. And you know, to say it in a cryptic way, to make somebody that has a heart and a soul and is believable and real. Since starring as Tully Alford's wife Margaret Alford in The Addams Family, Dana Ivey has built an impressive acting career. By 2016, in fact, she'd become a six-time Tony nominee. In addition to keeping busy acting in big Hollywood movies, Ivy loves social media. 
She explained to Theater Mania, I do a lot of theater stuff and a lot of environmental and animal stuff, so it's a tripartite way of sending messages out. It's just a way of getting the word out for something I believe in. Lurch may have been the Adams butler, but he was every bit a part of the family, and Carol Strykin was the perfect person for the role. The Netherlands native was literally discovered on the streets in the 70s, and he's made a nice career playing a series of imposing characters. Most people will, however, know him from his role in the Adams family. And yes, he really is that tall. According to the publication, he's one of the tallest movie stars around at an even 7 feet tall. When reminiscing about his role as the gangly butler in The Addams Family, he told Devolution, "...it has been a revelation to discover how many people identify with The Addams Family. I guess people who have always felt a bit out of place in our society." In the years since the movie premiered, Stryken has starred in several high-profile projects, including 2017's Twin Peaks The Return. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.